Hi trainers, Pokemon Unite is set to release in July on Switch any day now, so let's try and learn as much as we can to prepare ourselves for Pokemon's multiplayer online battle arena. Today we're going through all the held items and battle items in Pokemon Unite. My name is Teets, I've been a MOBA player for 9 years, so these observations are mine based on the description of these items and my experience in MOBAs. Starting off with the battle items, battle items are items you can use during fights and battles. You may only have one battle item equipped per match and these items cannot be changed once the match begins, only before. You'll unlock new battle items as you gain trainer levels. The first one we have is Potion. Potion is the item that everyone has when you first start in Pokemon Unite. Potion has a 30 second cooldown, it restores some of your Pokemon's health. Very simple item, great to use in situations where you are losing the fight, and it also comes in clutch. I found myself using this item a lot during my 1v1 fights, and it can be used to buy time for your moves to come up, or your allies to come save you. Next we have is Smoke Screen, with a 40 second cooldown. Creates a ring of smoke around your Pokemon, slowing enemies within. This seems great to use in fights and in situations where you're fighting someone and you want to keep them close to you or away from you. So I would say close for melee fighters and far for ranged fighters. The next one we have is X attack with a 40 second cooldown. Raises your Pokemon's attack and special attack for a short time. So this one is a very aggressive item to have. In my opinion, best to use on offensive Pokemon and you would want to use this during a fight. X speed with a 50 second cooldown raises your Pokemon's movement speed for a short time. You would want to use this item in situations like when you're trying to escape from an opponent or chase your target. This would also work really nicely on those who do not have much mobility. Next is Eject Button with a 55 second cooldown. Quickly moves your Pokemon to the designated direction. This item seems like some sort of blink or a small teleport, so this would work great in scenarios where you might have a massive area ability or unite move, you can just teleport to the ideal position surprising your opponent. You can also use this to chase or combo it with your moves or just simply use it to escape. Next is Fluffy Tail with a 25 second cooldown. Incapacitate a wild Pokemon and increase damage dealt to it. Seems like this item would be great against the legendaries or the wild Pokemon who have a lot of health. Seems like something you would want to use to help you and your team secure the wild Pokemon faster. From the description, it looks like it only affects one wild Pokemon at a time, so I wouldn't use this unless it's harder to grab wild Pokemon or on the smaller ones if the legendaries aren't up yet, because this cooldown is pretty short. Next is Full Heal, with a 40 second cooldown. Removes all hindrances and becomes immune to all hindrances for a short time. This item basically makes you immune to things like slows, stuns, anything that affects your Pokemon negatively. You can also use this before you're about to get knocked back if you're predicting it. For example as well, in other MOBAs I've played, an item like this was used the most. The last battle item we have is Gold Boost, with a 120 second cooldown. This has the longest cooldown of all the battle items. Reduces your Pokemon's time to score goals. This item seems to be really useful in those very close game situations. The more AOS energy you've collected, the longer it takes you to put it in the goals. So an item like this would really help with that. This might be better for Pokemon who have high scoring. So those are all the battle items. Which battle items would you find yourself using the most? Personally for me, I think I'd use the full heal item, but I feel that with these items, it really depends on what Pokemon you're using, so keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're going to go through the held items. Held items are items you equip before the match begins and provides bonuses to your Pokemon. At trainer level 10, you can have up to three held items equipped. These cannot be changed once the match begins, and new held items can be purchased in the shop. You can also upgrade these items up to level 30 using in-game currencies to boost its stats. These items seem to give you additional stats right away, plus the extra stats that you gain from certain situations. The first item we have is AOS Cookie. When you score a goal, your maximum health is raised for the rest of the match. This item increases your health by 240. For goal scoring, you can increase your max health at most 200. I'm not sure if this is every time you score a goal or if it's a one-time thing. Next is Assault Vest. This item increases your health by 270 and gives you increased special defense. Increase health and gain a shield against special attack damage while out of combat. This item seems to be great for tanks or those who just want some extra defense. Next item is Attack Weight. Gives you plus 18 attack. When you score a goal, your attack is raised for the rest of the match at maximum 12 attack. Seems like an item used for offensive Pokemon. 
Next item is Body Barrier. Increase your health by 600. Grant a shield to the user and the nearby allied Pokemon with the lowest health. When the user uses, they unite move up to 40% of their health. This seems to be a great support slash tank item and good for team fights. Next item is Energy Amplifier. Your energy gather rate is increased and you have decreased cooldown reduction. After using the Unite move, a Pokemon holding this item will deal more damage from all of their moves for a short time. Seems very fitting for a very offensive Pokemon. Next item is XP Share. Grants 240 health and 150 speed. Bonus experience every second while you're the lowest leveled Pokemon on your team. This item seems to be good for supports and tanks. If it works like other MOBAs that I've played, supports usually get less experience, so this is a good item to keep caught up with your allies. Next item is Floatstone. Grants 24 attack and 120 speed. Increases a Pokemon's movement speed while out of combat. This item seems good for offensive Pokemon. The out of speed combat is very useful for rotations between the lanes in your game so you can reach fights faster. The next item is Focus Band. Increase special defense and defense by 30. Recover health for a short time when receiving damage that reduces the Pokemon to low health. I'm not sure what this description means. Maybe it means at a certain threshold. When you are low enough, that's when this passive kicks in. But yeah, seems great for supports and tanks. Also could work on offensive Pokemon who just want some extra defense. Next is Leftovers. Grants 240 health and 9 health recovery. Recovers health over time while out of combat. An item you can use to recover some health before jumping back into the fight or might just even help you survive while you're escaping. The next item is Muscle Band. Grants 15 attack and 7.5 attack speed. Deals additional damage with basic attacks. This is a strong choice for Pokemon who are offensive and are basic attack focused. Next is Rocky Helmet. Grants 240 health and 42 defense. After absorbing enough damage, deals percent damage to nearby enemies. This item sounds like it's for tanks and bruises, so bruises are like classes who can take damage but can also deal damage. You wouldn't build an item like this on a squishy Pokemon. Squishy means very easy to knock out because in order for this passive to take effect, you have to take damage. Next is Scope Lens. This item grants 6% critical hit chance and 12% critical hit damage. Increase critical hit damage and critical hit chance. When I read this item, instantly I thought about Absol. This item is going to be so strong on Absol who is crit focused. Simple item that you want to build on offensive Pokemon who may be crit focused or work with crit items. Next is Score Shield. Grants 240 health and 150 speed. Shields the Pokemon while it attempts to score a goal. Remain uninterrupted while the shield remains active. An item that will help in securing scores on the goals seems best for Pokemon who have average to high scoring. Next is Shell Bell. Grants 24 special attack and 4.5% cooldown reduction. Recovers some of the user's health whenever the Pokemon successfully lands a move. An awesome item for Pokemon who have high special attack and will benefit from cooldown reduction. Seems best for Pokemon who are more ability focused. Next is special attack specs. Grants 24 special attack, increases special attack damage upon scoring a goal. Seems to be used by high scoring Pokemon who have high special attack moves. The last item we have is Wise Glasses. Grants 39 special attack and it further increases your special attack damage. This item is just straight up damage increase for your Pokemon special attack moves. So it seems that it would work best for high special attack Pokemon as well. Okay, wow, that was a lot of items. But I'm glad Pokemon Unite has something like this so we can put together the best items to hold for each Pokemon as well as the battle items. What do you think of the items in Pokemon Unite and what do you find yourself using the most when Pokemon Unite is out? Let me know in the comments down below. For me personally, I will definitely use Absol with a scope lens item at least. That is just going to be insanely strong. I will be making a lot of Pokemon guides and I will make sure to thoroughly research each Pokemon to find out which item works the best for every Pokemon in the game as well as combos, tips and all that jazz. So if that is something interesting to you, subscribe and click the bell for more Pokemon Unite guides, gameplays, and news. The game is going to release any day now and I just, I'm ecstatic. I have been waiting for so long. I made a video on Pokemon Unite about a year ago or maybe more than a year ago, I'm not too sure now. And I just can't believe it's already almost out. And it came to a surprise to me because I had no idea it was going to come this quickly. Although compared to other MOBAs, I will make a MOBA comparison for Pokemon Unite and other MOBAs as well in the future. 
at the moment it doesn't seem as heavy or in-depth as other MOBAs which I actually find a good thing because it makes it very easy for new players or people who are newer to MOBAs get into the game. I hope that Pokemon Unite has a thriving community and I would love to be a part of that and I hope that you trainers would love to be a part of that with me. So like the video if you're excited to play Pokemon Unite. Thanks for watching trainers, bye!